Hi everyone, welcome to the next video of this day and challenge guys. In this lesson, I will be show you how you can create the pixel code and how you can install into your website. I hope you did your work. You know that now what kind of CMS you're using. And um, I hope you already installed the Google Chrome extension, the Facebook pixel helper. That will be, we are going to use it now. So if you're on the screen guys, we already create the business manager which we already created before and we have that account remember one thing guys every account has their own pixel code right you cannot use a one pixel code for the on uh, more than two accounts or more than one account no i do not recommend that one every account should have their own pixel code so if you are already have a one account that's fine you click on it once you click on it you will become on this ad manager that's the ad manager of your company's account you click on it here all tool and come to the event manager in this event manager guys you are going to use you are going to create the old pixels code and they will be instruct you how you can install it onto your website so in through this event manager tab you able to un, you able to manage your old events the events i will be show you in next video but you will be able to manage the old pixel code events whatever the tracking you are going to you are looking for you are able to do through these tabs so guys um if you are here um what i'm going to do is you might do not be able to see this thing here you're just going to be able to see this default that's done so i'm going to make an, a new pixel coded for you and once you will be click on it here you just need to be coming here guys i will be show you again here you will be come on this plus sign and connect data source that the data source where you are going to allow facebook to collect the data right that what it means is so click the data source if you're going to website go for web app if you are using app you want to be collect the data from app offline the people come on your shops and all you can go through with crm if you are using third party crm to collect the data or using this you can use that part so i'm going to use the web because i'm going my, to use my website for it now you have two options to web set up a web events first is conversion api second is facebook pixels we always go for the facebook pixels since we have a website if you have a server or this stuff go for the conversion api but highly recommend go for the facebook pixels it's easy and good to go they are going to say what sort of facebook pixels will do what you can do with it everything you will be read it here go through with it as i mentioned on the above this is your website someone click on it facebook pixels have data and you can retarget those people later on this is that, that what they are saying yes continue now you can write it here for example i'm just going to make a website for wow homes and Z. that's my pixels name you can put your one it's all up to you you can put your pixels name i'll just put this wow homes in it um, because i'm going to install the pixels on this website right so the website name is this that's my client for example uh, i'm going to put this one here or that's my website you can see that i'll just put this one and going for continue now i'll create that pixel code is for this website you will be see it here it's already been created and they have their own pixel id it's here you will be see it's six three five nine zero zero this is the pixel id we have it here so this is the things you created now your pixels has been created now it's way to install that pixel into your website pixels already been done we already created the pixels now we need to be installed into the website from where we are going to track our people right now you will be coming here continue set up this one you will be click here this one you need to be connect again and it should be fine it says it's load fail um should be done here it should not be like that why uh, but we will be just going to refresh and see sometimes it's happened but do not worry about it you just need to refresh it and it will be good to go for you right so make sure that also another side you need to be open your admin you can open your wp admin dashboard if you have an access if you do not have don't worry pause it here open your facebook uh, open your website admin uh with it right so you can come in here right once you come in here you can continue with it 
once you continue with it you need to be clicking it here again and continue with it now once you're done it with guys you will be able to see through our option here the manual add pixel code or use a partner integration as i mentioned in the above video you need to be know what about what is your cms so if you are using wordpress shopify squarespace what sort of cms you are going to use it it's good to use the partner integration you will be able to see the all names of your cms you can select follow the instruction and good to go in this video i will going to show uh, i'm going to just cover the wordpress why wordpress because guys 90 to 95 percent of business owners are using wordpress for their website so it's highly recommended but do not worry about it guys if you're on the screen it here do not worry about it i'll put some in, uh, links here or if you have another CMS, go to YouTube, just search on it and get an idea from there how they can install the pixels on the CMS which you are looking for. It's very easy, but you need to be understand the base principle is you have the pixels. Now it's just need to be installed into the website and how you can do that, you can search on YouTube if you do not have a WordPress. If you have a WordPress, then it's good to go. But guys, sometimes Facebook have some errors because Facebook keep working on it. When we are going to use this partner integration, they have some lots of uh, errors since you will be able to see they do not have any button to download the plugin otherwise they always have here a button to download the plugin this is the main problem now now what we need to do is sometime it's happen guys now what we need to do is we are going to use the manual option in the manual option guys it's easy for you and for us to install it but you need to be install a small piece of code do not worry i'm going to show it's very easy believe me you're going to just click on to the install code manually and you are going to copy this code that's the code you will be seeing here this is the code you need to be installed onto your website how you can do that they mention it here paste this code and into the header section just above this head tag you will be able to see this head tag now now what do you need to do is you will be go to your dashboard of your website go to the appearance and theme editor once you click onto the theme editor the small pop-up will come and you need to be agree or i understand that part some something you will be see it here and you just need to click i understand the part once you will be here you will be able to see the header.php since we need to be paste this code into the header section of our website so that there will be fire or they will be installed into the whole website right so this is the header.php once you will be here you will be able to see this head and you will be able to see this is the head where it's will finish this is the header it's finishing right you need to be paste that code above of it so i'm going to paste this code at here right this copy code and i paste it above this tag isn't it awesome guys it's very simple do not worry about once you've done it update this file it takes a minute just to get it done once it's done you will be able to come back it's done you will be able to come back here and click on continue simple guys once you click on continue you will be able to see automatic advanced matching you just turn it off at the moment do not worry about that part we'll be show you later on somewhere how you can use it but at the moment keep it simple now this is the next step guys about the add event code this is the most important thing you need to be understand about what that event is in the next video i will be show you how what is that event is how you can install the events plus how you can track the people who took a specific action on your website that will be really helpful for you do not worry about it. that's why i'm creating a special uh, another video for this topic because it needs to be understand but before that you need to be understand your pixel code and get it done tell it here just done it once you done play around it don't worry if it's anything miss happening from your facebook that's fine you can try it again but make sure that be careful with your website code right just you need to be code directly put a code into the header section paste it and all good to go once you're done you can close that window it's good for you
right so in the next video i will be showing you how you can set up this ad event what is that and how you can set up this thing it's really good for you it's really fun thank you so much guys i hope that will be help you out in the next video i will be show you how you can set up this events and how you can use the pixel facebook pixel code i will be help you out to um see how it's working and if if it's installed or not thank you so much guys see you in the next video